Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl C, and I wanted to come at y'all today with a um a review. Now you all know that I color my hair, and normally I I color my hair or get my hair colored at the salon. I get my color service done there. But lately I've been so busy ripping and running and working that I have not had time to you know get my hair colored at the salon, and it's been kind of hard because either. I'm busy and the stylists are ready to go home or they're busy and I'm ready to go home. So, you know, my days off, I try not to go to the salon because I just don't want to. If I'm off from there, I'm really off from there unless I absolutely need something. Then I have up. But the majority of the time, I just come home because I'm tired. So, now what I've been doing in the past, I color my hair normally with a professional product at whatever salon I'm working at. I normally use Wella, but since I've been working at this this salon for a year, they are a Reckon salon, and that's all they use on the back bar, and that's what color they use. And normally, I'll use the Reckon Chromatics, and I, I enjoy that product. Um, the Chromatics is basically like an oil-based color, and it's it makes your hair feel really good. It makes it look healthy and shiny, and I love the way it makes your hair feel. It makes your hair feel somewhat healthy. Um, if you already got semi-healthy hair, or it gives it kind of a healthy appearance. I like that. But lately, I have not been able to get to the salon to use that, so I decided to take a chance. I went to Sally's, and I was going to get the Wella color that I normally get, but then I said, you know what, I want to try something new. I've heard a lot about this product. I want to check it out. So I bought the um, Argan Oil hair color. Let me get the box. One of the boxes. This is what the box looks like. Let's see and this box is three fluid ounces so this is what the tube looks like so as you can see I've been using it and this is the tube it's three fluid ounces whereas most um, um, cream colors or colors in the tube are um, two ounces so you get a lot of product I cannot remember what I paid for for this but I want to say I, I kind of caught it on sale. I can't remember. But you can purchase it at Sally's. But it's an argan oil hair color. It's an intense color and shine, superior conditioning, and 100% great coverage. And this is for this version is permanent um, cream color. This, they say it has two applications in here. Now the ratio for this is one to two, which is one part color two parts developer if I'm not mistaken or is it two part let me check the, the directions yes one to two is one part color two parts developer and this is the developer I purchased of to go along with the color and I got 20 volume instead of you know 10 or 30 or 40 I purchased two tubes of color this color right here is um, 3N which is 3 natural or three neutral whichever color you want to go um you want to go and then i purchased this color which is three rv which is three red violet your base color is the three and then your undertones are red violet and basically what i did now the first time i used this color i liked it but i didn't like the results um and why and i'll tell you why the first time i didn't like the results i mixed the color with the ratios i let it sit on my hair for 45 minutes I have gray hair around my edges and from probably right here going forward I'm pretty much somewhat salt and pepper gray. I have a good mixture. I'm, more, I'm getting more gray than pepper I guess you could say. So that bothers me. So the first time when I used this color I applied it. I mixed the color up the way I wanted it. I had more red showing or red violet showing the first time. Because I did um, an ounce of the 3RV and a half an ounce of the 3N. And the reason why I did three is because I kind of wanted to go, it's getting ready to get fall going into winter um, in my area. It's like fall, getting ready to go into fall, the fall season. I always try to go a little bit darker in the fall. This summer I try to do like a lighter brown color. And then did like a different color on my ends and got my ends bleached out. But now that's going into fall, I do a darker color. So I did 3RB and 3N. The first time I did an ounce of 3RB 
a half ounce of three in and I think it was three ounces of the developer which is 20 volume so it could deposit just open up my cuticle a little bit and then deposit the majority of the color in that cuticle and when I rinsed out my color excuse me when I rinsed out my color it rinsed I, I mean I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed it in the shower and even after I got out of the shower my color was still kind of running like I had wore a shirt that a light colored shirt around the house and my color was rubbing off on the shirt and I'm like wait a minute I thought this was permanent color my hair felt soft though my hair felt soft and it was very shiny but the color was still rubbing off my hair onto my clothes and I hated that because I'm like okay I didn't I got permanent color I didn't get temporary color and that bothered me so I colored my hair yesterday with the same products but what I did this time I did uh, uh, one ounce of each um, each color and four ounces of the developer and I let it sit on my hair for I think an hour either 50 minutes or an hour and I put a plastic cap on it so while I was moving around the house my hair could you know get some heat to it to help open up that cuticle even more then when I was ready, I took and um, rinsed my hair out, shampooed my hair, and conditioned it. And then after that, I didn't deep condition this time, but I did condition it. Let this condition sit on while I was in the shower, you know, doing my little nightly duties. And then rinsed my hair out. And as I was rinsing it, I slowly reduced the, um, the water temperature down to cool, as cool as I could withstand it in the shower. And it closed up my cuticle. And then when I got out, I, rinsed, I towel dried my hair. And I did not have any of that excess color off my hair. My hair still feels soft. As you can see, it's real soft today. I have product in it today. I, don't, um, I did a wash and go because I didn't feel like, you know, messing with it. But I, um, it was it's soft. It's shiny. Um, I'm quite, and it's not, none of the color is rubbing off of my clothes as far as I can tell. It didn't rub off on my I'm dress that I'm wearing today. So it did rub off on that and I'm actually enjoying the color. It, it covered my gray really, really well. So I'm quite happy and satisfied. So my review of this um, Argan Oil Hair Color Book is one and only Argan Oil Hair Color. Actually, I will probably, if I can't get my hair colored at the salon, I'm, I will probably repurchase this again because I love the way it made my hair feel. My hair felt very soft after I got out of the shower even before I put on my leave-in conditioner and my growth aid I'm from my roots and my scalp and massage that in and before I put on my leave-in conditioner my hair still felt soft so I truly like that so I think I will be repurchasing this again when I need to color my hair so that is my initial review if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below or instant message me Thumbs up this video and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.